I think it's appropriate that, that, you, that you take that long perspective that you mentioned. And uh, if you go back to, to the beginning of China opening up in the late 70s and then Deng Xiaoping's reform program mm -hmm. with state of enterprise reform in the 1990s, it's hard to argue that China has not transitioned remarkably with a series of very innovative reforms, uh, particularly with a country that large, both in terms of population and in terms of geography. Mm -hmm. And you know, some, some, some amazing growth and uh, poverty alleviation. Um, I think if someone came from Mars and they saw China, they think, wow, this is, if they knew the history, uh, they would be quite uh, amazed at, uh, and impressed with what the Chinese have done. I think the question now is uh, where are we or where is China in terms of this long tail of reform and growth? As we know, not every economy is going to continue to grow and there's obviously going to be cyclical changes. Uh, in my mind, the question for the person from Mars or those of us here on Earth is whether or not uh, the secular growth of China is beginning to slow down. And my own view is yes, um, and that it has little to do with the trade war, which I'm sure we will talk about, mm -hmm. but that it's due to some internal contradictions mm -hmm. in the socialist market economy, which is a uh, uh, actually a, a contradiction, oxymoron in and of itself, uh, that are the Chinese policymakers running out of room in terms of trying, in my words and others, trying to have their cake and eat it too by having both socialism and capitalism at the same time. And I, my view is that uh, China uh, has some very difficult decisions to make from an economic policy perspective uh, with the uh, need for the party to continue to control the state of enterprises, which are still the very largest employers in the country, uh, there's a big price to pay in terms of economic growth in the long run for having that kind of model. And so I think the, the 1.4 billion uh, RMB question is whether or not uh, there will be sufficient reform in the state of enterprises finally to enter into a more commercial type of market and real separation from government mm -hmm. and commercial decision making on the part mm -hmm. of the enterprises. So that's, to me, that's sort of where we are, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in today, mm -hmm. thinking about the Chinese economic prospects. Mm -hmm. Shamita, I'd love to unpack socialism and capitalism. It's not a binary choice. I would say arguably China has had this uh, amazing way of mm -hmm. combining socialist and the capitalist characteristics mm -hmm. over the past four decades. Mm -hmm. Is that sustainable? And China has this uh, uh, centennial plan mm -hmm. uh, basically by 2021 to achieve essentially uh, the economic income level mm -hmm. of a uh, Central European country mm -hmm. status. And by